the dado uh, to receive the ribs and uh, it's now it's time to assemble so I've laid everything out to make sure everything looks in order and the first thing I need to do is take each uh, rib and uh, chisel the rounded notches right here um, square and that's how they come out when you cut them with a router and they have a little radius there so I gotta get rid of that first and then I can start gluing them into, into place And uh, now it's time to uh, put the other spar in on the other side and then glue all those in. Other spar connected now. And uh, still extremely light at this point. And my next step is to cut a web for each side, for each section here, all the way down both ways. Then after I cut them out, then I'll uh, attach them and just keep gluing them up right up. Now I'm ready to move to my next step, which would be to uh, shoot these uh, webs on either side of the mid spar. And uh, uh, that just entails uh, gluing them and then uh, stapling them on either side. But I pre-cut them all to fit and uh, dry tested them first and they're all ready to go. This is what you call a box spar type of construction. And it stiffened up the wing quite a bit already. My next uh, job is to take and uh, glue the 
front nose spar on and I'll glue uh, one side on at a time and uh, that's this piece right here and I just need a little bit of hot glue on either side of that rib to hold it for now I've got the uh, one side of the nose block glued down and now I inserted the other one into the slots and uh, I'm getting ready to glue it up too I'm cutting the uh, spar webs now and it's now I'm cutting the uh, tapered web that will be uh, attached to the nose spars and I'm cutting it out of eighth inch plywood and what I've done is I've marked out uh, the two and five sixteenths at one end and then down over here it's one and seven eighths and uh, I learned an old Indian trick a while back about cutting tapers oops can't say Indian trick anymore due to the uh, enlightenment of political correctness. Basically, you take the uh, object you want cut and uh, screw it down to uh, your straight edge piece, which is this piece of uh, three quarter inch MDF here. MDF is nine feet long, the plywood's eight feet long. And you screw it down uh, on your mark here at two and five sixteenths. And then down here, we've got uh, inch and seven eighths, and it's screwed down. And it holds it uh, through the saw, and it'll cut a perfectly straight taper. Okay, I've got the uh, front web on the nose bar all the way down and um, next thing I'll do is flip it over and put on the uh, tail block on the back. Okay, I've got the trailing edge all glued on and uh, it's fairly straight. It's not too bad. Um, had a lot worse than that. And uh, the next step will be to put uh, the end caps on the top and then the bottom down there and then uh, need some blocking for the uh, hinges and some blocking for the hound and we'll be ready to skin. <laughs> 